I just want to know, man. My wife is watching this show on Netflix. Daddy. Love is blind. Some of y'all might have be watching it in the middle of it. I just got a question, man. Where is the black love on this show? And and I'm holding a potty in my hand. So what? I just cleaned it. Anyway, she's all into it and stuff. And it's as far as Savannah. Yes, baby. You want Daddy to sit down so you can be on camera too? She put the remote in between the. Oh, the remote's in between there. I just want to know. As far as entertainment, yes, Daddy. it's a good show. But she's the beginning of it. Spoiler alert: those of you who haven't seen it yet and maybe thinking about watching it. Daddy. Daddy. So if you don't want to know the spoiler alert, I suggest you turn this off. Daddy. Mm, hug, mama. So the uh the uh, it's not even stereotype. It's uh the agenda of black love in America is very displayed throughout this whole TV show. So um it's not displayed. So anyway, as far as black love in, in the in the in the social uh, role, come here, mama. <laughs> and what I'm saying is that the demasculation of black men, the homosexuality of black men, and the lack of um honesty with them black men's in relationships are all part are all you find all that in this show first of all it was it was only one black man right on the show and there was three black women it's the one girl who's there now oh two black girls there and then the other girl didn't even make it to the, the so it's four black girls all together Three. One didn't make it to the uh, vacation spot. Yeah. The other. Okay, oh, yeah, sorry, it was four. Okay, so it was four black women. She said, "I'm just gonna speak about the ones I seen. I, I don't. I remember three. Yes. Yeah, dog. So, the first black girl. This is supposed to be the show where you you, you don't see nobody. You just hear them and listen to them and. Based off of that, you get engaged, and you go from getting engaged to getting married a, a month later, basically. So anyway, um, the one black girl, who name is Diamond, and she's a former exotic dancer or something to that nature or whatever, whatever the case is, that's not important. What's important is she ends up getting engaged to a man, and the, a black man. And so the black man no poke sister's eyes. just happened, just so happened to previously um, been sexually active with other men. And so he reveals himself to her as far as uh, being bisexual or he has had me or he, he, he used to be bisexual and now he's telling her that he's no longer bisexual. He just likes women. But his demeanor, his characteristics, everything that he, his energy that he puts out, my my wife says that that boy's still gay. I seen the episode last night. After they had their little argument, they got into, he got some tendencies still, no doubt. So, the girl, she's like, you know, she's like a real down home girl. She feel like, you know, she could be one of the homies, the home girls that you hang out with. And uh, their relationship dynamic is more, I could tell that they would be more good friends right. than uh, being a couple. And that's because that would be her gay male friend. And they would work out beautiful as friends, right? So that's those two black individuals on the show. The other black girl, who's a young, beautiful young lady, <laughs> she falls in love yeah. with a white man. I don't have an issue with that per se, 
the my issue is with the uh the storylines and the imagery of not showing black love in a in a positive unit that's my only issue She's a good uh, young lady, this uh, black girl. The guy that she's uh, fallen in love with and supposed to marry seems to be a nice uh, Caucasian man with his head on the right way. So there's no issues as, as far as their relationship and being uh, interracial. The issue is that there's the there's not no examples at all of a, a, a black man being a man and a black woman being a woman that fell in love on this show or was supposed to get married or whatever and the, uh, there was there was I know for sure there was another black uh, woman and uh, I think she was a little bit older she didn't even fall in love or meet nobody at the place nobody picked her, nobody picked her to fall in love with and then she said it was another black girl too I didn't even, I didn't even know this but uh, so that means there was two other black women on the show who didn't get picked now however the males there was only one black male out of everybody, Daddy. out of all right. the dudes. And only one Daddy. Mexican guy. And, and that one black male Mom. just happened to Mom. to have, uh, Mom. to be gay at one point. Mom. Mom. To just try to what? clean it up. Um, and I don't have a problem, I don't have a problem with him being gay. My problem is that as far as the show, there's no, you don't get to see a male, oh, a black no, woman, and a, a black man, and a uh, black woman you fall in love. Your dad, your <laughs> um, and then also, just to talk about cultures, right? Because these people, they didn't get to see each other. They just got to listen to each other talk back and forth through these pods, they call. And so, the uh, like she said, the um, Latin guy, right? He's 24 years old, and he gets engaged to a woman who's 34 years old. And she's a Caucasian woman. Um, when we talk about uh, uh, the uh, different cultures and relationships, and um, so they finally meet, see each other, and then she's like, um, you know, I'm I'm really used to dating uh, bigger, because he's a he's a more short, slender Latin guy, and um, and he's ten years younger, and she's like, yo, you know, I'm this is a little bit later after they all hug and fall in love and da 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 da. And then they go on this trip. Um, all the couples go on the same trip, right? But anyway, uh, they're they're at this trip or whatever, and um, she's they're getting to know each other now, physically in the flesh. And she's like, you know, I'm more used to uh, being with uh, a bigger, bigger a bigger man. This that, and the third. She may be that may may be true. The other part that they're not really saying, but there's undertones like crazy is that she doesn't want to be with somebody who's not white right <laughs> they just she just won't say it right but there's undertones like crazy and, and, and little uh hints. easter eggs and hints yeah about how she feels about date she's like oh how's your family going to think and what's my family going to think and she kind of keeps alluding to the age difference but it's really the cultural difference in uh their ethnicities right. that's what it is quit playing white woman quit playing that's how I'm going <laughs> Well, a few things that Buki missed was with the um, woman, Diamond, and the guy who's... His name is Carlton, I believe. Um, yeah. Or something like Carlton that. Carlton, yeah. Uh, he also said Mom. his whole demeanor Mom. changed. He was hiding it from her. And the whole purpose of the thing is, you know, to be honest and to not have your looks and everything distract you from being open with your potential partner or whatever. Because everybody's supposed to want to get married or whatever. So, he was, you know, really open with her. I'm going to say about 90% open with her. And they did. They, fall, they fell in love. Um, and he was just like, you know, I want someone to accept me and this and this and that. I'm a son. My father was a preacher or whatever. So, you know, you have these type of expectations and blah, 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 blah. So he asked her to marry her and she said yes. And 
And then um, when they went on the vacation, he still hadn't told her that he had past relationships with men. And so then when he told her, she was like, because like what you know of course she'll be shocked but she didn't down him she didn't put him down he started boohooing and crying it's like hey, i just want somebody to accept me and this and this and that and she's like okay well i think i need to go and be by myself so i can think about it she came back to him and was like i feel like you kind of cheated the system and wasn't truthfully honest and then he was all like, well, nobody ever had problems with me. Uh, no woman had problems with, with this before. You're the only one. First of all, that's a lie. I'm sure he ain't told no other woman uh, up front and open that he was gay or whatever. He's also flamboyant, too. Which, if you that way, that's fine. And he said while they were in the pods dating for the week, it was like 10 days, um, you know, uh, what he say? He said now he he feels like a woman can give him something more than what a man can. He wants a traditional family. So I, what I got from that is, okay, in your mind you're trying to trick yourself to be done playing. You know what I mean by playing is, um, having your experiences with men. Which, if that's who you are, then just be that. Don't go with the trickery. And then, you know, you have potential to still want to be with a man. Like, just be honest. There's women out there who will accept you if that's what you want. Yeah, so suppose suppose they, uh, he went and never said nothing. They get married. Right. And then uh, a year down the line, now he wants, he wants to, to go be, with sleep, he wants to go sleep with uh, with men. And then she's already trying to uh, deal deal with it, you know, as being uh, his fiance or whatever, her being his fiance. But now, you know, uh, it brought a whole different dynamic. But anyway, so they end up leaving uh, the the vacation separately. Right. So what upset it, me it didn't is work. Um, that once she came back to him and she was really trying to talk to him, right. like anyone else, they would have probably flipped out and been like, what? What the heck? Like, yeah. you just tried to play me on the slick, though. She was really nice and trying to be understanding about it. And then he flipped out and started talking about her hair. Like, oh, your wig was slipping this whole time. Your booty lopsided. Like, undercut digs. But you were in her face talking about, oh, you're so beautiful. You lucky you're pretty. And, and this and this and that. But now, and then he called her a bee. So, why, sir? What's with the low undercut things then? Because she she has a choice whether she wants to accept that or not. And she was really trying to figure some things out. And really trying to have a conversation with him. And then he just got ugly. And that's what I didn't like. I'm like, you trying to show a potential African American couple, black, uh, whatever you want to call it. Show Mom. that behind. Mom. And. Mom. Yes. Hi. Hi, Mom. wants to say hello. Where's your nose? Good job. Baby. Where's your ears? Good job. <laughs> Cheeks. <laughs> Just chin. chin. Cheeks, yeah. <laughs> Teeth. Yeah. <laughs> tongue. Well, Mommy showed you tongue last night. What's tongue? <laughs> tongue. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Eyes. Okay. Good job. Yay. Is that your orange car? Let's see. Orange car. <laughs> okay. Where's Sister Molly? Where's your Sister Molly? You don't want you to don't talk? You don't want to show Sister Molly? Okay. So, yeah. That's the show. Netflix. Love is Blonde. That's a part of it. I don't know what episode you want or nothing. Yeah. But, but. I like the... um. I 
I don't know their names, but there's one couple, uh, they seem really, really in love and it seems genuine. And then the, um, interracial couple, it seems like theirs was really, really, um, genuine. But, um, the lady with the Latino guy, yeah, he seems, that ain't gonna work. It's, it's something going on with her. Um, because the recent episode I was watching, she had tried to have a conversation with him. She kept talking about the sex thing. She didn't want to have sex on the first night or whatever. And, and I really think she was jealous of the other guy. She wanted to be with the other white she dude. She wanted to be with What's his name? Uh, uh, Burnett. Burnett. She wanted to be with the other white dude. she's handsome or whatever. And he didn't want to be with her. Right. He picked the other girl. He wanted to be with the fun-loving army girl, which they oh. have a lot of chemistry and they're young and fun, but I just think it's just that. I don't think it's a deep romance or whatever. I think it's we're both young, fun. We like to, you know, do the same type of things. We're free-hearted, free-spirited. I think that's uh, 50% of it as far as the Armin girl and the uh, yeah. guy, Burnett. I think the other 50% is that he knows that she's prior <laughs> military or she's still active mm -hmm. and he's trying to get some benefits. That's what I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, he know. trying to get some benefits. Yeah, I don't know. Or else he would have picked the older girl, the older woman. He liked it, another girl too that was really, she was really sweet and really, mm. you know, cool or whatever. But the older woman, she. Bar Barnett, what's his name? Know. Burnett, whatever his yeah, name? Burnett. Barnett or whatever. <laughs> he trying to get some benefits, that's all. And he broke that older woman heart, basically. And now she with this yeah. little Latin dude, and she mm -hmm. don't like the Latin dude. So when they finally seen each other, out, all out in the open, she uh, was talking to the uh, the older woman was talking to uh, the guy. Uh, what's his name again? Burnett. Burnett. And uh, and um, basically, she was like, "Oh, he's attractive. She wants basically to be with him and not the uh, Latin guy." Yeah, she. She kind of like shut down and went off because she kept talking about it. And then he was like, you know, that's fine. We had already agreed to not make it physical. Um, but you don't have to command. It doesn't have to be a command. Like, basically, we can stop talking about it. And so she was like, that's my man. And like, she had to shut down. And I was like, oh, what? What's she don't want to sleep with that? nobody. That's not white. I, and she like tried to I. project her feelings off on his mother like Daddy. oh I'm just no. nervous about me and your mother because you know there's certain yeah. standards and this and this and that and he's just like my mother's gonna love who I love and you know as long as I love you she'll love you. Yeah. No. so that's kind of our spiel right now of this uh, Netflix show uh love is blind and um yeah so we'll see what happens throughout it um uh, if you guys haven't seen it or haven't watched it um oh another yeah. thing the girl that is with the interracial couple or whatever the black girl she's also pro-black too oh i didn't know that part yeah so she has views, and, you know. Uh, she's just like, I love, you know, my people and this, and this, and that. And I'm sure my friends and family might have an issue. She just lets it be known. But I like what he said. He was like, you know, I know that if we were to okay, wait, we have on. children, our children will be black. They'll be considered black. And he said, I know there's some basically. Uh, truck, truck, what's the truck? There's some tough things that they're gonna have to go through in life, but I believe that, like, basically, we'll be here to help the guide them through whatever comes. Right, that they will be loved by both of their parents. Right. Which is fine. Right. So, it's like he's not clueless in thinking, like, oh, life's gonna be rainbows or. There's not going to be any adversity uh, for their family or whatever. Just in a world as far as the white side. I'm not even going to say the black side. We pretty much accept everybody. But he just knows that. I'm glad that he's aware 
that white people and black people do walk different roads. Right. Might be the path might be sometimes linear, you know, the same way, headed towards the same way, but it's different paths, it's different hurdles and bumps we have to go through. Right. So I thought that that was good that he was able to acknowledge that. Yeah. So we'll see how the rest of this uh, show goes out. All right. Oh, let let us know what y'all think in the comments if y'all watched it already. Uh, put your comments below how y'all feel about the show, uh, about how they're not really showing positive black love, um, and just what you guys think about the characters. Um, right, because I would have liked to see an Asian man. You know, I'm pro black. Oh, so if you the, didn't the, know, the the it's but only I am, yeah. But I'm all about black family, black love. But I would have liked to see an Asian man in there right. in a uh. Um, an Indian man and woman right. in there also. It was like ninety nine percent white, white, and then the one and... black guy and the one Mexican uh, Latin guy. Right. Yeah. So and I then would like the... to see more diversity. And Nick Lachey and his <laughs> wife, I forget her first name. Um, they're the hosts. <laughs> My life. <laughs> but yeah uh, let us know what y'all think about the show if y'all watched it or if y'all want to watch it anytime soon alright peace okay, bye